what? I, I didn't know you were there. No, I don't imagine you did. Considering you don't want Ridge telling me whatever it is you're talking about. What is going on with you two? What are you hiding, Quinn? Wow, perfect timing. What's for lunch? You, know, you can't just, like, walk in here whenever you feel like it. Sure, I can. I always do. My mother is in cage, Bill. Well, that's a joke. Unfortunately, it'll be on Brooke, but no worries. I'll be there to piece her back together. You know what I think you should do, Bill? I think you should just learn to accept it. Because Ridge, you know, he always gets what he wants. That includes my mother. And, uh, you know, she's getting married. Maybe. But maybe not. Depends how long it takes for Ridge to let her down. Because you know he will. This, this can't be right. Oh, everyone fibs about their weight. That's, uh, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, well, good, because that's not polite. You want a tip? Don't ask a girl if she's pregnant either. Are you really Sally Spectre? That's right, bucko. Don't wear it out. Wild. Yeah, Forrester and a Spectra together again, just like you. Sally Spectra. Okay, you're wearing it out. Well, either the island life has been really good to you, or you're. Macy's my cousin, married to. My Uncle Thorne. Yes, a huh. grand love affair that came to an unfortunately tragic end, seems to be the case with most of the encounters between our families. So, as fascinating as I'm sure you are, it's probably best I keep my distance. I'm sure the feeling is mutual. The last thing you want is to associate with a spectra. So I heard your mother's back from Italy, which is why I'm here. Welcome her home. It's not your home. Oh, will be. Listen, in case you haven't noticed, you know, I'm sticking around for the long haul. You better get used to having me around. Now, when can we expect your mother? Oh, you know, I don't think uh, we are expecting her at all. Oh, you're to a foul mood, aren't you? Oh, yeah. And you're not helping. Oh, sure. Papa Squat, be my guest. Thanks. Where you go? You know what? Hmm. You know how I feel about you, Bill. And for good reason, too. What? Oh, oh that, that my stuff? Oh, come on. Boy, you hold on to a grudge. And that was business. All right, this? This is family. We're not family. Well, I will be. Bro. Now, come on. You can't be happy about the prospect of Ridge marrying Brooke any more than you can be happy about being passed over as CEO. Again. You, you know what? You could just you could just stop right there because I'm not going to discuss this with you. All right. Let's just stay focused. Nobody knows better than you how poorly Ridge has treated your mother over the years, right? Well, you think he's changed? And people don't change, not at this point in life. And you want what's best for your mother? Yeah, of course. Well, you're looking at him. The two of you so passionately discussing keeping a secret from me. What is exactly going on? Ah, uh, you're right. What can I say? We are keeping something from you. I'm sorry, it was, it was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? Yeah. We're still getting married, right? So far. Okay, well, a bride needs a dress, and the bride needs jewelry. We're designers, and we're gonna collaborate and surprise you on your wedding day. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seemed so suspicious. It's just that this is kind of 
weird. No, no, no worries. Just, uh, just pretend like you didn't hear. Yeah, I'll try to do that. There you go, sweetie. Nah, it's out in the house. What an odd thing to say. Why should we keep a distance from each other? Uh, well, you know my last name? Spectra, so what? History, darling, history. Spectra's in the Foresters. We're like oil and water. We just don't mix. Why is that? Mm. Mm. Well, my family's just not worthy. Mm. Yeah, we don't have that glistening sheen like Steffi glowing all over social media. We lack your casual elegance, shiny pedigree, and good breeding. That impeccable reputation. We're scrappers. We don't mind breaking a nail, getting down and dirty, like apples to oranges and never the twain shall meet. Whatever a twain is. Oh, hey, I bet you'd know. No idea. Really? Yeah. Wow, a forester admitting he doesn't know everything. Hmm, stick with me, kid. I'll uh, surprise you quite a bit. Nah, no, you're an easy read. Really? Please, tell me. Oh, should I start? Yeah. Okay, um, you're conceited, convinced you're God's gift to the world. Women should fall all over you, and you've never had to work a hard day in your life. How am I doing so far? Heard it before, but please, keep going. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, right? Mm. The struggle was real. I'm sure growing up in Beverly Hills, choking on your silver spoon, relying on your family name and your good looks to walk through any door you want to. Back up. What was that part you just said? You easily walked through doors that Spectrum... Mm, no, 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 no. The part about my good looks... <sighs> You're not the worst face I've ever seen. It's not what you said. Okay, all right, you know what? You don't offend my eyes, but you are not my type, so don't get your hopes up, bucko. <sighs> that was too close. But it's okay, right? Brooke believed you? Yes, she believed me. But I don't like doing that. So stop, stop being so paranoid and stop feeling guilty about everything. I am trying. But I'm married to Eric, and I love him. And you and I, we've been flirting for way too long. I mean, the, the outdoor shower and, and, and the steam room and what happened in San Francisco. What am I, what is wrong with me? Can you me? just stop beating yourself up? Everything is fine. Nothing has changed. You are still with Eric, and I'm going to get married to Brooke. It's not going to happen again. Exactly. I just... You just need to pull yourself together. What we had, it was... It's a moment out of time. Just one kiss, that's all it was. Right. Right, that's all it was. Right, Rich? I would be married to your mother right now if it wasn't for Ridge and RJ hanging up on her, guilt-tripping her about reuniting the family. How many times did you try to marry my mom? Twice. And they never came up. All for the same reason. Rich. I mean, doesn't that tell you something, Bill? It does. I'm being tested. My love for Brooke, my patience, which is new to me. Bill. It's been too long. How did you know that I was back? Oh, well, uh, well, actually, it's kind of a funny thing, but it's as though I felt the Earth rotate on its axis just ever so slightly. I mean, barely noticeable. But I picked up on it. And that's how I knew you were home. Welcome back, Brooke. Well, everyone will know soon enough. Might as well give you the scoop. What are you talking about? We are gonna be rivals. I'm taking over Spectra, reviving the company. Seriously? You sound skeptical. Do you have logistics and infrastructure? What about designs? Do you have a designer? Uh, of course. It's me. These. Nah. Hmm. 
You did these yourself. So how's Hope? Good. Changing. In what way? Oh, I don't know. Just more mature, more grounded. <laughs> it happens to the best of them, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. So speaking of changing, uh, been some interesting events over at Forrester. Eric's made Ridge co-CEO with Steffi. Right, yeah, I'm happy for him. Yeah. He deserves to be in that chair. Hmm. You know, that team was put together by Quinn. Does that make sense to you? No. Yeah, me either. You know, I couldn't help thinking about what um, Ridge had said to you before you left, postponing your marriage until Quinn was out of your lives. Doesn't it seem like the opposite is happening? Like Bridge and Quinn are slipping into bed together. <laughs> uh, I have never had so much to lose or so much to live up to. Your father's opinion means everything in the world to me, and I never wanted to give him any reason to, to question or doubt me, but obviously I just did. He doesn't know. No one knows. Just take it easy. I'm trying. Maybe I need to figure out why this happened in the first place so I can be better and, and I can be stronger moving forward. Okay, well, you can just forget about it like I did. I don't give it a moment's thought. Really? I mean, I don't think about it either. I don't. I just, I, I think about it more like in a, in an abstract way, you know, trying to understand my own yeah. behavior. Can I ask you something? Why would you analyze something that obviously didn't mean anything to either one of us? Unless, unless you think... No, that. no, 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 it meant nothing to either one of us. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. And, oh, by the way, calls have been coming in. People congratulating me. I guess the word's out. About you and Steffi. I mean, Steffi running yeah. the company. Everybody loves the idea, and no one more than me. <sighs> It's going to be great. It is going to be great. And I have you to thank for that. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't have to thank me. I'm just, I'm happy to be part of healing this amazing family that I somehow stumbled into. So you okay? You are okay. Hi. I'm happy. Eric and I are so happy. And I just don't want to screw that up. You're looking at my designs like they hurt your feelings. Just looking, they're different. You think they stink? No, did I say that? No, you didn't have to. It was built into your condescending tone. They're different. Like they could never compare to the magic that foresters make when pen hits paper. So you're really doing it. You're bringing Spectra fashion back to life. Yep. A new day is dawning and the sun is shining brightly. Spectra is roaring back and the entire fashion industry is going to stand up and take notice. So buckle up, bucko. Forrester has met their rematch. With these designs. Good luck. So, you know, I have to say this traveling looks, uh, looks good on you. But you have to make me one promise. No more trips until you can take them with me. You know I can't make that promise. I'm marrying Rich. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. And when he breaks your heart, and that poser will, I will be right here for you. And I won't even be mad. Mm, how generous of you. Well, that's because you're worth it. You're special. Your warmth, your beauty, that smile that lights up my world. Rich doesn't appreciate you. He takes you for granted, 
That will never happen here. And one day soon, you're going to realize that. I never doubted your feelings for me, Bill. Never do. Because they're real. And they're permanent. And you're going to come back to me. And once you have, you're going to look at me and you're going to say, what took me so long? See, that's what I do. Quinn. Quinn screws things up. Even when I'm trying my hardest not to, that's when I, I do it the most. I have made so many mistakes. Because you know what? Sometimes I think I am just a bad person. And that I'm always going to be my own worst enemy. You're just getting all revved up again. No, because Eric that. has so much faith in me. And I'm so terrified that I'm going to let him down. That I don't deserve all of the good things that have happened in my life. And, and, and I know it, so I have to destroy it. Or you could just live your life. Go home to my dad and make him happy. Turns out you're really good at that. Be the best person you can be. That's all any of us can really do. And do me a favor. This self-fulfilling prophecy that you created where everything you touch just falls apart, that's silly. You gotta let that go. You, you are... You, it, you're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Wow. You're being really understanding. And, dare I say it, supportive and gentle, yeah. concerned. <sighs> Your encouragement means everything to me. Your friendship, it, it also means so much to me. If that's, if that's what it is, you know, because maybe you just feel sorry for me. But hey, if that's what that is, then, then I'm going to take all the support no, I can I, get. I don't feel sorry for you at all. And you don't need my support. Just believe in who you are and trust. Trust in who you are. That's enough. Thank you for saying that. The smile is nice. <laughs> Your hands shaking, that is dead giveaway. Take a breath. It's gonna be okay. I promise you. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs>